Hello there everybody, today we are going to be discussing the 5 things that Rockstar needs to fix in GTA Online. Now, just a heads up, I am not going to be mentioning things such as the quick interaction menu or the oppressor mark 2, because they are going to be addressed in the upcoming update. But, as always, don't forget to comment down below what things you would like to see get fixed in the future as well. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting off with number 1, I believe that Rockstar needs to bring a serious overhaul to the phone. While it is a super useful feature in GTA that allows you to access the internet, start up missions and call different NPCs, it is not very well optimized and it can take a long time to really do anything with it. For example, if you have a lot of players in your lobby and a lot of contacts in your phone, it can take an annoyingly long time to scroll to the contact that you need to call. To fix this, Rockstar should add some sort of quick dial or favorites option that allows you to have easy access to your most frequent contacts. We as players should also have the option to mute certain NPCs that we don't want calling us, or at least make it so that their call is changed to a text message or email so it isn't as distracting. The most annoying ones that I constantly get are Lester, English Dave, and my assistant. If you know, you know. With so many different characters in GTA Online, it is bound that you're going to get harassed and called by a lot of them all the time, so it would be absolutely fantastic if Rockstar could give us the feature to mute some of the annoying ones and tell them to shut up. It'd also be great just to give the players more authority over what and how their phone works in the game, whether that do be muting people or adding people to their favorites menu, it would just be perfect. Because in GTA Online, some players don't even use businesses or play heists, so why even bother them with these calls and messages all the time about them? Just let them do what they want, man. The quick interaction menu gives players the option to turn off free mode event blips and other things, so why not make a similar sort of addition for the phone? It just doesn't make sense why they haven't done this already. Alrighty then, on to number two. Now this has been a very common complaint for years, but as it has still not been addressed, I feel it's really important to bring it up again, and that is making the game more solo friendly. We all understand that GTA Online is meant to be a space where you can play with others, whether they be your friends or strangers, but nine years down the line from release and many people like to play on their own, whether this be by choice or because they simply don't have other people to play with. Rather than forcing people to party up with strangers to do activities such as the Diamond Casino Heist or MOC Mission, why not make all this content completable by a single person? so that they can enjoy all the aspects of this game by themselves. And this doesn't just go for heists and some missions. A lot of content pretty much requires having two to four players, such as many business cell missions, business battles, and more. These intended or unintended restrictions put in place by Rockstar make a large portion of the GTA Online community feeling ostracized, and as if they can't enjoy the game by themselves, leading them to walk away from the game altogether. For a company so concerned about keeping a high player base and earning money, it baffles me that they haven't made efforts to open the game up to as many people as possible. Now, this point regarding not being able to complete a lot of different content in the game solo kind of leads into my next point, so let's jump into that. The third thing that Rockstar really needs to fix in GTA Online is the grind. Now, first of all, I want to say that I love a good grind. I grew up playing MMORPGs such as RuneScape and later on Elder Scrolls Online, so I love a good grind session to level up and obtain cool items. However, GTA Online wasn't a game developed for that purpose. The only reason there is a grind in GTA is that Rockstar adds a massive amount of content, which is a good thing, but they always make all of the items within these content drops way too expensive with little to no sufficient methods of obtaining money to match the cost of all these items. In 2019, a YouTuber called Pyre Realm Gaming uploaded a video breaking down how much money you would need in GTA to purchase everything in the game. The total he came up to was a whopping $703,307,823, and that was over three years ago. I can imagine that the total nowadays would easily be over $1 billion. Now obviously not everything in the game is worth buying. There is a $10 million golden jet that is practically pointless, and many apartment and business locations that are way more expensive for just a slightly better location. But let's just assume that the average player would want to purchase even 10% of what's available within the game. They would have to have, give or take, $100 million to purchase all that they desire. That's the equivalent of doing the Kaya Perico heist well over 50 times, if done successfully that is. It would probably end up being much more as well, because there are setup costs for heists, the costs of buying ammo, your car insurance, and everything in between. It's an understatement that GTA Online has become too expensive, and it honestly might be too late for Rockstar to make the significant changes that are truly needed. But even simple things such as larger and more frequent discounts on old content, login rewards for loyal players, and better payouts for jobs would make a huge difference. I do believe Rockstar is making some changes to the heist and job payouts within this next update, but whether it is enough is yet to be seen. 
Now onto my personal biggest annoyance in GTA and the thing I believe needs to be fixed the most. That is the matchmaking and servers. Now as someone playing on PC and living in Australia, I have a much more limited player base of GTA Online players compared to someone living in the US or Europe. So I often experience how poor the matchmaking and servers can be on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether it's the five minute loading screens, lobbies with only one other person, or sitting in a race lobby for half an hour because the host won't kick the goddamn people that aren't able to join. I'm sorry, I got a bit mad there. These issues all combined mean that if I'm playing GTA for around five hours straight, there is a good chance that for at least 30 minutes of that time, I will be spent sitting there waiting for the goddamn game to load or players to join. And that's probably a low estimate. My recordings for my main series, Adventures with Desmond, sometimes spend up to eight plus hours, but very often I will have at least a whole entire hour of white screens, loading screens, or just sitting in lobbies waiting for them to fill. That's a lot of recording time just to be cut out at the end. It is very clear that the servers initially set up when GTA was released Least, have not been updated enough to support the amount of content Rockstar has added since, leading to slow loading times which impact all areas of the game. Resolving these issues would allow players to get more out of their time and enjoy the game to a fuller extent, but I have a theory about why Rockstar are keeping servers and loading times slow on purpose. Firstly, keeping the servers slow forced people to play GTA for longer to achieve their goals, whether it be purely enjoying the game or grinding for money. Rockstar obviously wants people to spend as much time on the game as possible, hence the longer loading times. And secondly, having these long waiting periods while loading gives players less time to make money, meaning that there is a higher likelihood they will need to purchase shark cards to buy the items in the game that they really want. Whether this theory is true or not, I am not sure. But no matter what, it is unreasonable for a game as large and as successful as GTA 5 to be dealing with issues such as slow loading times, bad servers, and poor matchmaking. They all need to be addressed and fixed as soon as possible. Okay, now onto the final thing that I believe needs to be fixed in GTA Online, and this is a bit of a unique one, but I believe that Rockstar needs to fix, or rather update, the police force in GTA Online. The 5 star wanted level is iconic to the GTA franchise, and the game wouldn't be the same without it. However, that system was created for GTA at release, nearly 9 years ago. Back then, we didn't have flying bikes, James Bond vehicles, and cars that are stronger than tanks. Police, for the most part, now show little to no threat to the majority of players in GTA Online, and I think it would be a really interesting change to add a new level of difficulty to the police in Los Santos. Whether this be by adding a sixth star, or simply by making the difficulty of each star both harder to achieve and harder to survive, I think a change like this would fix the feeling that being a wanted criminal is simply too easy. If I have massacred a hundred people and blown up dozens of cars, I don't just want a few guys in police cars and SWAT vans chasing me, I want the whole goddamn army in my ass. Helicopters, planes, tanks, it would be awesome for the police to once again be a real challenge in GTA. Now obviously we wouldn't want this change to severely impact our ability to play the game on the regular. Getting yourself into a situation where there are tanks and other highly destructive vehicles chasing you would take a lot of effort. Realistically, a player should only be in this situation if they choose to, rather than by accident. Even still, I think this would bring back the classic GTA fun of running away from cops and fighting them, rather than just blowing them up from a distance without any difficulty. Fixing the police, aka the wanted level system in GTA, is something that would add a nostalgic but also new experience to the game that a lot of players would certainly enjoy. Well, that's the five things I would love to see fixed in Grand Theft Auto Online. But hey, let me know down in the comments below if you agree or not, and also tell me what features you want fixed in the future. That's all from me today. Hope you're all doing fantastic, and I will see you next time.